Hey everyone, it's me, Lauren. Hope you're all doing okay. And in my last Fallout 76 video on YouTube, the state of Fallout 76, I said something there that a few people disagreed with. And obviously that's totally okay. That's exactly why we're having these chats on YouTube in the first place. And specifically what I said was that when it comes to Fallout 76, I believe Bethesda needs to be prioritizing new content for the game as opposed to bug fixing. And a few people saw that and thought, what the hell alone, why don't you think they should be fixing all the bugs in the game? And let me be clear, I do believe they should be doing that as well. But what I wanna do in this video is just generally clarifying what my position is when it comes to new content versus bug fixing in Fallout 76. So le let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, I do wanna continue this discussion a little bit further. Like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe if you're new, that would really be appreciated. And also consider supporting me on my other social media platforms like Twitter, all of which are linked in the description below. So with all that out of the way, let's get to the content. Alrighty, so for this video, we won't have any gameplay and I'll just stick with the camera view because I do wanna have a genuine chat as to why my position is the way that it is. Now, let me start off by saying, I understand how game development works, right? Especially with a live service game like 76 that I worked on for three and a half years, mind you. When it comes to a game like this, developers need to be doing both, absolutely. They need to be developing new content in addition to bug fixing. It would be an absolute disaster if all they focused on was content, right? It, they need to be bug fixing at the same time. I understand that. That's the only way they're gonna be keeping their community happy. And obviously when it comes to the launch of 76, the balance was much more shifted towards bug fixing because back then there really were some major game breaking bugs and just general stability and performance issues that absolutely needed to be addressed first before Bethesda even started thinking about bug fixing. So that was the case back then. But obviously as the game has progressed and as things have been developed and fixed, it is in a much better state than it was at launch. Is it perfect? Absolutely not, right? And obviously this is what we're talking about in this video, but still, generally, it is much better than it was before, and it is a very, very playable game. I would say confidently that most of those major game-breaking bugs that really ruin the experience have been resolved. There's still a big laundry list of bugs, some of which dating back right back to launch, that I know that kind of really frustrate players and to an extent ruin the experience for you but it is not like it was at launch. So let's just put that, you know, right behind us. So why do I think that Bethesda needs to be, you know, prioritizing new content for 76 as opposed to bug fixing? There is a general view that I see sometimes in the community when it comes to this, where people are saying, I wish Bethesda would just focus on fixing all the bugs before they do anything else, right? They just want these bugs fixed because they are so frustrating when they come up. And I understand the frustration, right? I, I'm in there with you i played the game for many many hours i understand how frustrating it is when you see these bugs especially again like old bugs come up time and time again right i understand how annoying it is but if all they did was focus on bugs and not actually introducing new content to the game one it would take forever because that is how game dev works you try and fix one bug and a million other issues crop up that's why it takes so long for a single bug to be introduced because they have to constantly test and test and test and make sure that nothing else fucks up right that's first of all but also second of all it would kill the game it would absolutely kill the game if that's all they did if somehow miraculously tomorrow overnight Bethesda was able to fix every, at least every major bug in Flight 76 to make it a much more enjoyable experience for all of you. I can almost guarantee you that is doing nothing significant to the play count for 76. That is not going to convince, I, I think anyways, the majority of players that have dropped off as Fallout 76, players that have done everything in Fallout 76 and just aren't playing it anymore or, or just having a break, that is not bringing the majority of them back because sure, they'll come back and it'll be a much more stable experience, but what are they gonna be doing when they come back? They're gonna be doing the same events they're gonna be doing the same or similar challenges day to day and week to week. They'll be progressing up a very similar scoreboard, getting very similar items. They're gonna be killing the same end game bosses. They'll be doing the same end game loop just as they've always done for the past three years. That is going to be the reality. So even if the game was in a much more stable space when it came to bugs, it is not in my opinion addressing the major issue with 76 that is plaguing it right now. That is new content. Again, I addressed this in my last video, so I won't repeat it over again. But new and mid-game players are still working through the content and they're having a great time and that's fine, right? We are really talking about once you've completed all of that, what is there left to do in the game? That end game loop, that end game grind, 
that is the issue right now. Like, when you've done that, it doesn't matter how good it is, how much fun you've had with it in the past, eventually it is going to get tiresome and eventually you will leave. And that's how players play accounts drop when it comes to live service games like 76. New content is always absolutely eventually the biggest issue when it comes to these games. And inevitably people always think they're not developing it fast enough. Some games obviously do it better than others, like ESO for instance, amazing when it comes to new content. But with 76 it's obviously much much slower. That's why I believe Bethesda needs to be building much more resources towards new content in 76. Now, don't get me wrong, I mentioned this to Tyr, and he's obviously a Fallout 76 YouTuber, and we were streaming the game, and I mentioned this argument to him. He made a very good point. He said that that's great that if they all they focus on was new content, but when those people come back to the game, there needs to be a solid, solid foundation for that new content too. If there were all these bugs everywhere, if there was a lot of stability issues, performance issues, then that's also not a good thing. That's actually going to deter those players from actually staying in the game. It doesn't matter how enticing that new content is, it doesn't matter how much fun it is, if they're having genuine issues trying to play the game, they're not going to stick around for that new content. And that's absolutely true, and that's exactly why I'm saying they need to be doing both. When it comes to bug fixing, they do need to be at least focusing on those major, major bugs. I understand there's a lot of little bugs, a lot of like little, you know, skin issues, the flamer bug that I mentioned, a lot of small things that people would like to see fixed. But to be honest, a lot of those things can just be put to one side. There are bigger issues at play here in the grand scheme of things. At least they need to be fixing those really major red flag bugs, the major game breaking bugs at the very least to ensure that when those new players come back for new content, or sorry, when the old players come back for new content, that they're not just leaving straight away. They're not completely scared and think, well, this is just crap. I'm just gonna leave. doesn't matter how good the new content is. So I I completely agree with Tears positioning on this, right? But what I was trying to do in the State of Fire 76 video was combat that view that people think all Bethesda should be doing is just bug fixing because it's gonna take forever, as I said, and it is not addressing the major issue. The game will die. The game will absolutely die if there's no new content brought in. And don't get me wrong, I love the fact that we're getting more endgame events. I love the fact that we're getting more endgame bosses. I like how now there is a nice little rotation of temporary seasonal events with Fashion Not Day, Invaders from Beyond, etc, etc. Treasure Hunter event, not so much, like I don't have as much enjoyment with that one, especially when you already have most of the skins. But I do like how there's a nice new rotation when it comes to that. However, as I've said before, a lot of that stuff is temporary, right? And when it comes to new endgame bosses and new events and whatnot, once you do them over and over again, then they get tiresome too. What I believe is needed for 76, and I hope Expeditions can do this to an extent, I hope the pit can set a nice foundation for this, but what I really want for the game is a brand new endgame something, <laughs> okay? A, a brand new loop, a brand new experience that day to day, week to week, Endgame players, veteran players can do that is different from the same endgame loop that we've been doing for three years. In my eyes, that is what is needed for Fallout 76. It doesn't matter if all those bugs are fixed, it doesn't matter if there are new events and new endgame bosses and new temporary stuff. That all stuff to me is not what is fixing the biggest issue with this game right now. There needs to be something else that once you get to that endgame loop, it's just, been, it's just a fresher breath air, right? Fresher breath air. A breath of fresh air. I'm getting so frustrated. Breath of fresh air. I'm not recording this video again. It, it needs to be something that feels completely different that we haven't done before in Fallout 76 that is not the same events. Like, let me put it in, in, in another way. All those armor pieces, all those weapons, all the builds that we've been working so far on, we need something to be able to use them on now. We don't need them to do the same events and the same grind over and over. We need to take those builds and take everything that we've worked so hard on into the new experience, into the next step of 76. And I'm hoping that's the Expeditions. I, I, I'm, I'm quietly confident that Expeditions will be enjoyable, but it, in my eyes, that endgame loop needs to be revolutionary. It needs to be so different that endgame players are like, this is friggin' awesome. I'm gonna log in every single day every single week because this is just so different to what I've been doing in Fallout 76 for the past two or three years. So that is my positioning. Again, bug fixing is important, especially for the major bugs, but more resources and more devs at 76 need to be contributing to new content for the game. That is going to make or break the future of Fallout 76, period. Because if the player count 
and the income for all or, or the revenue bringing in for up uh, from 76 if that does not start to improve bethesda are not going to allocate more resources to the game they're not going to the only way things are going to change for us to see even more content for the future is for the money and the income and the play uh, account to go like this that is the only way right if the game stays stagnant or even goes slightly down what do you think they're going to do they're going to take people off the of starfield and onto 76 that's just not going to happen. It is not going to happen at all. They need to make decisions when it comes to the resourcing of their of their employees. And if Fallout 76 isn't bringing in the big bucks, and it is it is a chicken and the egg argument here, I know, but if 76 isn't bringing in the big bucks, then more races, resources aren't going to be pushed towards this game. And the only way that's going to change is new content. It's not bug fixing. So that's my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And let's get to the conclusion. Alrighty way, Sanders, that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, this has been Lone. Please take care of yourselves. And would you kindly keep fighting the good fight.